Good morning, everyone. It's 5.15 in the morning. Gonna get up, head to the gym for 45 minutes to get my first workout into the day, and then uh, make some breakfast, shower up, get to work. So let's get to it. Time to get shit done. Take a look at my pilot map in the morning. You can see some of these airports in the middle of Florida are low IFR. So, must be foggy up there or something, but done near us. It looks pretty clear. VFR means green, so you can see. Kind of cool. Oh, what? Well, my truck didn't start. Dang it. It's not that cold out, anyways. I don't know what it is about early morning workouts, but. God damn, they suck to get up for. It's always worth it though. I don't usually go to the gym with like a set workout plan I do every day. I kind of figure it out on the way based on what's most sore on my body. Right now my traps are pretty sore. I did legs yesterday, but I guess everybody does legs the day before they actually go work out with their buddy, right? It's kind of everyone's excuse, but no, I really did. And then I will go today with a little bit of wrist pain, which is kind of weird. I don't normally get weird pain like that, but my hands are my babies. They're my livelihood, so I got to take care of them, so I can't really lift heavy today, which I'm cool with. I don't really focus on lifting super heavy anymore. I just want to be fit, right? So, like, I know guys that work out and they shoot for super low reps with super high weight. I'm kind of like the falling anywhere between 10 to 14 reps kind of guy at like a medium to medium weight I guess you could say and plus I think it provides more uh usefulness for your body you know like if you're gonna do something I'd rather be able to do it 14 times not six times I don't know who's a thought but yeah I got some wrist pain today it could be some carpal tunnel starting early on in my life since I work with my hands so much probably I don't know but I guess that's the price we pay when we put our bodies in line every day. US Fitness, super close to my house. This gym is literally like $10 a month, but there's so many high schoolers here because it's right next to a high school. That's a great gym. I don't really, I feel like kind of foggy during the day when I take it, but it does increase like my focus, I guess you could say. I'm a little skeptical, I've only been taking it for like four or five days. And I think I need to give it more of a chance because I think I was less foggy yesterday the more I've been taking it. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I've always wanted to try new things if I think it's gonna improve my health or. So I'm heading into work, it's about seven in the morning. Been up for about an hour and 45 minutes, got my workout in, ate breakfast, showered. And I got a couple surgeries this morning, which I'm pretty excited about. Any time I'm in there removing teeth or placing implants, it's gonna be a good day. I usually use this time in the mornings when I'm driving to kind of think and plan out my day or work through any problems or issues I'm having at work. And I always remember this video, and I'm gonna link it in the description below, where this guy always talks about good. Like, you're, you're in the trenches, good. If something isn't going your way, good more time to figure it out you're not happy good more time to figure out how to get happy and I am happy and I love what I do but there's always little stuff that comes up every single day and you got to work through these problems so I always try to remember myself good like when I'm strategizing my day or trying to think through issues in my life and so just remember that with your day is just make good out of your bad and everything always works out is what I try to remember. It always does. No matter if it's the worst possible thing in the world where it's, you know, you wreck your car or, you know, you're struggling financially. Good. It's more time to get better. More time to get better. All right, first one at the office, per usual. Just how I like it. If I'm the first one here and the last one to leave, I think it's such a good example for everybody else who sees me working hard they're gonna want to work hard too 
kind of a little fun fact is I run YouTube in my waiting room with, uh, with just like 4k aquarium videos. So basically like on the TV, it's just like an aquarium. A lot of dental offices or medical offices will have a real aquarium, but I just run like these 12 hour videos that have like cool dolphins and fish on coral reefs and stuff like that. Everything is kind of calm and relaxing and it's pretty cool. I always get zoned in watching this. Overnight, I usually start a 3D print session and so I'm gonna get the 3D print moved over to the wash so that I can start working on it because we're gonna deliver this case later today. Here's the 3D printer. And here is the teeth that printed out overnight. And I'm gonna squeegee off all this excess and then we'll move it over to the wash here. How this wash station works is you open this lid here. This is full of alcohol on this side. You load her in just like this and there's a fan in the bottom and it sprays up the alcohol and cleans the teeth off. So that runs for like 15 minutes and then we'll cook it. Now normally I keep my office very clean, but Life is in shambles since I started Hard 75 in this year. So I'm going to show you guys my desk and kind of what my schedule looks like for the day. Here's my working space. Got a really sick setup from NZXT. This is like a 6,000 hour computer. This stream deck is awesome to access all my apps and stuff. But basically how my schedule is set up every day is we have a column for hygiene. We're here in the office from 8 until 2 in the morning. Or 8 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Yes, we only work from 8 to 2 Monday to Thursday. It's a pretty ideal schedule for everything I've got going on outside of the office. And yes, I could work more hours. However, we work a perfect amount of hours so that my staff can come in, they can drop their kids off at school, come in, leave, and then go pick their kids up from school. So it's a really great schedule for everybody. We don't stress each other out. We come in, we work hard, we don't take breaks, and then we can carry on with our days. So I have my main column for my hygiene and then I see some exams you know on the sides and then these are my three to four surgeries I have during the day so pretty sick schedule this is my ideal schedule it's what I've always wanted and then you know getting booked out in advance too right now I'm about a month out for all my surgeries ideally I'd like to be about three months booked out but we'll get there all right guys so this first case we have this morning is a patient she has a lot of dental implants on the top and the bottom she's got three implants in the lower left and one of in the middle is failing and the reason why it's failing, we don't know. There's a lot of factors that can be causing implants, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go in and basically cut this implant out. We're gonna numb her completely. She's completely awake. She's not gonna feel a thing, but it's gonna get this infected implant out so it stops destroying her jawbone. It's hard to see to an untrained eye, but her jawbone travels like this, and there's a darker area around this implant that I can see in multiple views illustrating that this implant has failed. It could be a combination of bacteria, plaque, popcorn kernel getting stuck. It could be that, uh, you know, maybe some cement got left in there from when they put the crown on. There's so many factors. And as an implantologist, we're constantly trying to figure out why implants are failing. So we're just gonna get this thing out so that she can feel a lot better and be healthier. Uh, these screw retained teeth. This patient's going to be here today to take delivery of these guys. We got the lower and the upper and they're going to screw in together. And so I have to get them prepared and put some pink gums on them and paint the teeth so they look nice and pretty for when he gets here. All right, so last case of the day, we printed out those teeth that came in this morning. This is how they ended up. I ended up putting some pink on the, on the gums and then painted the teeth. So we're gonna go ahead and screw these into place. These are a temporary material that he'll stay in for about six months before transitioning into a final prosthetic that's a lot harder. It's made out of zirconia, same material fake diamonds are made out of. This is our last case for the day. We're gonna get home, film, edit, 1% better a day. Let's get to it. All right, well, we are on our way home from work. It is currently 4 p.m. I was not the last one to leave today, unfortunately. I was the second to last to leave, which I'll take. I was there first, second to last to leave. But that's all right. It's gonna be a 
great day. This is kind of my normal day, guys. I get up early, I work out, I go to go to work and crank, and today we had some really neat cases involving, uh, I actually had something, I actually had something today that stumped me. I've only had it happen two other times in my career where a broken screw was in the implant, and I have reverse threaders that I can use to get it out, but I was unable to retrieve it, which means the implant has to come out and we gotta place a new implant. It wasn't my implant in the first place, it was just uh, one of those flukes. You see it every once in a while, and normally I can get the screw out, but today I couldn't, it freaking stumped me. So, gotta do what you gotta do, take it out and start over, and the patient was super cool about it, and we're just gonna take care of it for him because it's, it's such a weird thing to have happen. But, but been an absolute cranker of a day. I really think that Alpha Brain stuff actually had me pretty hyped up today because I was I was on a rip for a long time. So if you guys are curious about trying it, I'm no way endorsing it, but I feel like now that I've taken it for a couple days, the fogginess is starting to go away and the productive is going up. So give it a shot. I think I got it on Amazon just to try it out, but I'll put a link in the description of, of where I got it. All right, let's get home, let's edit, let's cook, let's go for a walk, and call today a wrap. Because we gotta be back at work early tomorrow morning to finish up a case and then I am going for a world record tomorrow in a video so it's gonna be sick I'm excited to share it with you guys get my diet right I'm here at Southern Steer Butcher in Sarasota and they have the best chicken I've ever had down here it's their Argentine chicken it is freaking prime I cook it up cook some rice with it and I'm meal prep for the whole week so good way to stay healthy and eat clean at the same time Brother, how do you get this stuff so tasty? So all of our meats ran through a vacuum tumbler to get that fat wall over there. Yeah. It sucks all the air out and forces that marinade deeper into the meat. Dude, this is some great chicken right here, I'll tell you what. If y'all are in Sarasota, come check out Southern Steer. Oh, look at here. Come on in, dog. Come on. Come on. Listen, come on. start cooking some dinner get that on the grill go for a walk and then I gotta run an errand up to Ryan's shop to check on a project for a future video which you guys will see soon so here's Caroline working away we got our doggo Winston who's fired up over his new dim sum toy oh yes it's a good one very good very good all right let's get to cooking getting the chicken put on the grill I like to cook it on super low heat and that way it takes a really long time, keeps it juicy. And now I have time to go for a 45 minute walk. So let's get the weight vest on and start walking the doge. This is one of the best things I've done since 75 hard to keep my outside workouts pumping is a 25 pound weight vest. And I'll tell you, when you put it on, it feels like it's 45 pounds. And it really does make it that much harder whether you're riding a bike or walking or running or whatever. So let's get this boy in shape. Come on boy, come on. Oh, 25 pounds may not seem like a lot, but when you're carrying it for a couple miles, it's heavy. I feel the compression in my back from using this thing every single day. Like I feel like I'm an inch or two shorter. I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'm sore <laughs> and I'm feeling the effects of this thing. I highly recommend you get one. You can get one in the description below. I put a link to the Amazon one I got. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com. 